is an example of a source, and Julian Assange is an example of a publisher. The U.S. government is attacking the core of publishing, of publishing. A dark ages future faces us with the squashing of journalism. The monstrosity of the U.S. prison system is exposed in what the system intends to do to Julian Assange. Roman Finkelstein says that Assange may have faced 35 years at the ADMA prison in the Colorado mountains. That means 23 hours a day in a concrete cell, which has one window that is four inches wide, and once a week a trip to a shower that is time to spray for just one minute. This is a glimpse of what the United States truly stands for, a horror, a police state, and a country where the most prisoners anywhere in world history. We can't let this happen. Without a free press, just think what the enforcers will do to the people. Through extraordinary injustice, Julian Assange faces a mockery of justice in kangaroo court. The criminals who run the United States are the enablers of a world of kidnapping, interrogation, torture, under a veneer of justice. Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning are suffering at a spear point of attacks at silencing journalism and truth telling, maybe forever. Global research search informs readers of the former collaborators of collaborators for the Republic, like The Guardian and the New York Times, that now smear Julian Assange with the big lie that WikiLeaks is a hostile non-state actor. Truth telling is labeled as interfering with democracy. The cronies of the criminal elite in the global media have declared that have been declared by Chris Hedges to be the VC press. Think about it. The establishment proclaimed news that isn't favorable to end the entire as fake news. There's a problem right now. Journalists think that they are doing the job and they check with the government what you can actually report about the government. This goes against what WikiLeaks established. Some journalists are celebrated for publishing redacted information, sufficiently similar to WikiLeaks, established by, uh, um, uh, actually it's, the, it's much more worse than a pre-WikiLeaks era. Catherine, Caitlin Johnston says, Never has a single innovation WikiLeaks shaping the existing power structures in this such a short amount of time. In an inverted totalitarian system, system where the ability to suck resources from the people is hidden under a veil of propaganda, the ability to rip through the veil of skin and government open uh, pastacy, uh, pastacy, is a powerful tool indeed. In just over a little, de little over a decade, Julian Assange managed to make himself the most wanted man alive by the most powerful people on earth. That's how effective WikiLeaks has been in uh, yes. bringing truth to power. Now, yeah. Caitlin Jostin has really said that. Julian Assange is an example of integrity of how journalism should be done. Revolutionized journalism by going straight to the source and delivering it straight to the people with few reactions. He's invented revolutionary methods of whistleblowing in the 21st century. He's developed means of protecting a source, helping the source cover their trail. Chelsea Manning has told the courts what she knows, but she's in prison right now for protecting her publisher for a grand jury information to attack Assange. John Pilger said that Julian Assange is hero number one. We must fight against the new dark ages of censorship. We must fight for Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange. We must fight for a free press. Thank you.